Today is going to be a very exciting video. My official fantasy football rankings for 2024 are on tap today. So if you enjoy, drop a like. Starting off with the quarterbacks, and look, with every position, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and of course, we'll discuss it down there. Quarterbacks top three, pretty self-explanatory, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, and Patrick Mahomes. These are the next tier, the high upside, safe floor. You'll see this throughout today's video. Uh, Lamar, Kyler, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, Burrow, Prescott, and Jordan Love. Now, based on your team construction, some of these guys will, will move up, some will move down. Grab the guy that makes the most sense for your team. 11 through 12. Now, Jaden Daniels can be a lot higher. I'm just siding on the side of history where he, he's a little bit lower than what most people would have him at uh, in the top five or top six of their quarterback rankings. History tells us they're about, you know, at the low end of a quarterback one. So that's why both of these guys, I believe, can have fantastic seasons. Be quarterback ones, just not elite quarterback ones, if that makes any sense. 13 through 20, it's a hodgepodge of just spot starters throughout the entire year. Some guys, based on the matchups, are going to be tremendous values and tremendous plays. Uh, depending on if you have certain players or stacks, that could give you higher upsides on a weekly basis. But again, a lot of these guys are inter interchangeable. They might even be on your waiver wires halfway through the season. The running back position, CMC, Brees Hall, Bijan, and Jameer Gibbs, the clear-cut top four in my eyes. Uh, and it's going to remain that way, whether if it's in half or full PPR. If you play in a standard league, let me know in the comments. Of course, uh, the rankings change a little bit if that's the case. Moving over to the high upside safe floor running backs. Uh, of course, you see five through ten on your screen. And you'll realize that all of these guys, sure, yes, they do have high upside and safe floors. But there are some anomalies here. Guys like Alvin Kamara, guys like Derrick Henry. Statistics show, and we have a video on the channel here, breaking down what it means to be running back one. These are guys that don't meet those qualifications. But when you look at their situations, they're not like many other running backs at their age throughout history. Uh, so Kamara, again, great PPR upside. Derrick Henry, great situation with Lamar and a run-focused offense there in Baltimore. Uh, excited to see what those guys can do to shock where we have them, uh, well, I guess, based on current ADP. But five through eight, all guys that I'm okay with being my running back one if I go wide receiver early. Lower end starters. You have guys like Pacheco, who honestly, if you ask me tonight, I might have this guy as high as like number seven or eight on this list. I believe in Pacheco that much. Uh, and you could say that about any of these five guys outside of James Conner. Uh, you know, at least 11, 12, and 13. James Cook, Pacheco, and, and Josh Jacobs. I would have these guys as high as like seven or eight, again, as I reiterate. Uh, but A-Chan, James Conner, all of these guys are still lower end RB1s. If you go wide receivers in the first two rounds, let's say if you're at the turn and you go with A.J. Brown and Garrett Wilson, just hypothetically, uh, grabbing a Devon A-Chan or James Conner as your running back one uh, would be, again, put your team in a great situation. Some other strictly upside guys, Rashad White, Ramondre, Monty, uh, based on Jameer Gibbs' health, throughout the season, Najee Harris in an Arthur Smith offense, even though Jalen Warren looks like he's going to come back, maybe, you know, if that injury lingers, just like Jameer Gibbs in Detroit, uh, Najee could be in for a big season. Ken Walker is a guy that I've also been moving up my rankings. So honestly, if you ask me right now, I think he's a top 13 running back in fantasy football. I believe Ken Walker is in store for a big season in Seattle. 21 through 29, you'll see a lot of guys that are either in committees uh, or some guys that are older or coming off injuries. Uh, regardless, this is 21 through 29 as we move on to the receivers. Tyree Kill, CeeDee Lamb, Jamar Chase, Amon Ra in that order. I think all guys have a chance to break that 2,000-yard receiving mark that hasn't been touched since Calvin Johnson uh, or pretty close to it. But if there was going to be any guys to do it this season, it would be one of these four. They're guys that are going in the first six to seven picks of your first round. Self-explanatory why I have these guys where I have them. Some other guys that are elite, but there is some questions about what or when or, you know, uh, I guess their situation or maybe the coaching staffs, when you should take these guys. A.J. Brown, of course, new coach, new offensive coordinator. 
Garrett Wilson, can Rodgers stay healthy? Jefferson, his entire situation is bad there in Minnesota. Uh, and then Puka, is Matthew Stafford going to be healthy throughout the entire season? And is Cooper Cup's return on this revenge tour going to be too significant to take away from Puka's elite upside? Some questions here about some of these elite options. Uh, Chris Olave, Brandon Ayuk, two guys that are great, have great upside. Uh, Cooper Cup and Devontae Adams, older wide receivers. In question, there's some questions about their situation, but both guys, I believe, can finish as wide receiver ones. So, two LA Rams wide receivers, to me, will finish as wide receiver ones this season. Uh, Marvin Harrison, Jalen Waddell, Debo Samuel, and Drake London are in the strictly upside tier. Some solid wide receiver twos, or in other words, high-end wide receiver twos, Nico Collins, DJ Moore, Mike Evans, and Michael Pittman. Uh, again, depending on that tier, it depends on your belief in their situation and their current quarterback play. 21 through 25, you see the names. A lot of guys with a lot of upside. Uh, as it says here, there's other wide receivers to compete with in their current situations outside of Amari Cooper and Malik Neighbors. At the tight end position, uh, Sam Laporta, Kelsey McBride. I love all three of these guys. You can't go wrong. But what's interesting is Kelsey has moved ahead of both of these guys in ADP, and I don't think that should be the case. I believe it should go in this order, uh, of course, but McBride, you can get two rounds cheaper than Laporta and Kelsey, so McBride is my go-to target at this position in fantasy drafts. Uh, some other guys that are elite, but questions. Kincaid, Andrews, Kittle, Ingram, whether if that's health, whether if that's the situation around them or coaching, there's some questions. Uh, some other guys that are they have high upside, but there's questions. Kyle Pitts, David Njoku, uh, TJ Hawkinson. He's going to miss the first month of the year, but last year he was for, he was tied for first in points per game at the position. Something to look out for, I think, whether if it's Sam Darnold or whatever quarterback steps in there in Minnesota, he's going to get a lot of the targets due to the subpar quarterback play. Jake Ferguson, also a great option, maybe underrating him a bit. Some second-half breakout players. Uh, Brock Bowers is being used in every possible way, but since he's a rookie, a little bit lower on the tight end one tier. Greg Dulcich, Jatavion Sanders, Ben Sinnott, Chigo Konku, all four of those guys could potentially be league winners, as crazy as that sounds, because these are guys that are going to be on the waivers for the first month of the season. I can guarantee you that. But uh, which one of these four are going to break out? And, and you got to be on top of it, right? You got to be ahead of the trend. But Greg Dulcich is definitely my favorite because we know he's been proven at the NFL level to be good for our fantasy teams. He just needs to be healthy. But some other, of course, Sanders and Senate rookies there in great situations. Some other safe veterans, 17 through 22, you see it. The only other guy that's not on this list is Taysom Hill. I don't like Taysom Hill. He takes away from our actual favorite fantasy football players. Uh, that we like to draft for the Saints. and uh, But, I mean, hey, he seems to have a significant role in the Dennis Allen system. But that's going to do it here for today's video. Of course, if you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And that is my 2024 official fantasy football rankings.